Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a few new drugstore products, newer, newish, new to me. Uh, I picked up the, it says new on it, so I don't know if it's just a new shade, but I picked up the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation Full Coverage foundation. I saw uh, Steph from SMLXO using it. She got me onto the CoverGirl powder. So I was like, she knows what she's talking about and I really want to try it. It looked gorgeous on her. So I picked that up. I also picked up the CoverGirl True Blend So Flush High Pigmented Bronzer. I had tried out the blush in this version. My kids are home. If you hear banging, they're still online learning. It's break time for them. I picked up the blush like this and absolutely loved it. So I wanted to try out their bronzer. And then I finally got a hold of the Lash Sensational Sky High mascara that has been blowing up on TikTok. So I wanted to give that a try and see how it compares to my other mascaras that I've been trying right now. So if this interests you and you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. All right, let's go in with the foundation first. So the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3 in 1 foundation. So the claims like what it is supposed to do. So it's a primer, concealer, and foundation in one for a naturally flawless finish, 24 hour wear, sweat proof, humidity proof, covers imperfection, and evens out skin tone. And yeah, it's full coverage. I don't think I have a foundation this full coverage in my collection. I will show you guys. I think I'll do a check in with this foundation just to see what it's looking like later on in the day. I got it in the shade medium beige. I wanted to get something that matched more my neck because I just want some nice healthy glow. I saw Stephanie use this on her channel and it looked amazing. She never leads me astray whenever I try out a recommendation. So let's go in i'm just gonna squirt some on my finger i did kind of swatch it on my cheek oh it's locked you can unlock it and lock it i did kind of swatch it on my cheek one day and it just feels so like what is the word just silky silky smooth maybe with a hint of greasiness to it, but I think that's just for added hydration. So I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty brush and blend it out with that first. I think you can definitely build on this. How bad is it? Like, how old are you that it's like an hour later and I've got pillow lines still on my face mm. or I'm just very dehydrated. So blend it out. Yeah, I think this is actually a perfect match for me. Mm. Miss Stelash. I don't think that she likes that I'm talking right now. Mm. Yeah, no, she's not enjoying the talking. Mm. <laughs> Might have to let her out of my room. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to blend it through with the brush. Mm and then pat it in. So I can still see um, I can still see my imperfections coming through the skin. I should we try to build it up more? It looks really pretty on camera. Like it's a really blurring look on camera. Let's go in with one more pump just to, and I have a feeling it's going to oxidize darker. I'm going to put on concealer over top of this, even though it claims that it is a concealer. 
like my skin looks lighter on camera than it is in person but it actually matched perfectly I just put on a little bit of self tanner yesterday it has a slight fragrance to it that I don't mind So what Stephanie also mentioned on her channel is that it feels really lightweight. Even though it is a full coverage foundation, it feels light. And I definitely can agree that it feels light. And when it sets down, it looks really pretty, really natural. It doesn't look like overly full coverage on camera. It's giving me a nice blurred effect. Um, but in person, it doesn't look cakey. A little bit of luminosity to it really pretty I think it was pretty cheap too what was it probably around ten dollars like nothing too cheap but not on the high end of like how drugstore makeup is getting so I think just for concealer I'm gonna go in with the age perfect radiant concealer because this one is thinner I just want to wear something a little bit later since this is supposed to be a concealer as well but I need a little bit of dimension to my face because that's the only thing um, just wearing this I feel like my face looks really flat so I just want to add some lightness and some contour as well I'm gonna pat that on with my finger and then I'm gonna blend it through with the e.l.f. Camel Conceal sponge. If you hear any banging around in the background, it is my kids. They are still at home learning. They were supposed to go back after their spring break, but their at home learning is extended now. So they are still here. I'm gonna go in with a powder contour today snack time. All right, I'm going to go in with a powder contour today uh, just for the sake of doing it. And I kind of, no, I shouldn't say it's a dupe anywhere close to. I haven't tried the Wayne Goss uh, new contour and bronzer, but the CoverGirl bronzer has a luminous sheen to it. And that's the vibe that I'm getting from the Wayne Goss bronzer coming from other uh, creators. So I'm gonna go in with the Milani uh, Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed. And this is a nice, cool, uh, neutral, flat bronzer that I like to use for contour. So I'm going to start off with that and just lightly blend it under and on my cheekbone. So it is now April 20th. We were getting some really gorgeous spring weather, but Mother Nature decided uh, they're not ready to have a full-blown spring. I'm gonna snow. So we got a huge snowstorm the other night and now the ground is covered in snow again. So it's harder for the kids to get out. They were getting out playing a lot of outdoor sports and activities and playing at the park and biking and fishing at the river. So now it's just back online and not much going on. And that is blending gorgeously on this foundation. This as well as the concealer blended beautifully into it mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the Milani bronzer as my eyeshadow as well today so I'm just gonna take a fluffy 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 brush and run that up onto my brow bone
I'm just gonna set my under eye a little bit with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigmented Bronzer. So I tried out the High Pigmented True Blend So Flushed blush, which I loved, gorgeous. So I really wanted to try out the bronzer, get a bronzer that has a little bit more um, luminosity to it. I have so many matte bronzers, so I wanted something with a little bit of sheen to it just to give you that nice healthy glow if you don't want to wear highlighter or blush like but you want a little something extra from your bronzer so i picked it up in the shade sun glitzed so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush just to pick up more product it's a little bit more dense and i'm just gonna start in the middle of my cheek Blend it through to the apple and then up to the temple and right over where I put the contour as well just to blend it through and this just has such a pretty like glow to it it's so pretty it's so pigmented like drugstore bronzer that you want that is high pigmented it doesn't lie it is high pigmented And again, this is blending out so pretty over top of this foundation. Like my skin in person looks flawless. Not flawless, I have creases on my face from my pillow, but it looks, it looks beautiful. So I'll just kind of drag it down my neck as well. keep with the CoverGirl theme, I'm going to go in with the blush now. So the blush is in the shade Love Me. There's this really pretty uh, coral color. It's like a deep coral. I'm like, should I try it out? There's a couple, couple more shades at the drugstore. I'm, I wonder if they have more selection online. But I think I want to try out another one of these blushes and just like the bronzer it just has this like luminosity to it not glittery just a nice overall kind of glow and that actually blends in really pretty and kind of is making the blush come out a little bit more peachy than pink when it's mixing with the bronzer i found it i finally found it it finally got stocked i think i got it at walmart or shoppers I don't know I finally found the sky high mascara I feel like it was like off the shelf for months because the TikTok. so let's see if this is worth how much it's worth and if it's worth the hype <laughs> let's see if it's worth the hype because L'Oreal valuable <laughs> if you're like 18 cool it probably is but not for me it's not for my skin i don't mind it so if i do wear it i do like to use it under my contour so i'll take the little sponge take a little bit and then just go under my contour and just chisel that out that's where i like to wear it only it's the only place i really like to wear it sometimes i'll press it underneath my eye too but it's okay it's okay if you're a young tiktoker and that's a lot of what it is they're all very very young so let's try out the sky high mascara i got it in very black and let's see let's see how it is so i 
what I think is these wands are like what it is that really lifts and separates the lashes because it's the same type of wand in the Dior as well as the Real Magnetic lashes um, by Benefit and those I found have really lifted and made your lashes look longer so I don't like that it's super flimsy. I'm going to tell you that. I prefer like it not be flimsy, like a sturdy wand. But they are looking quite full. I'm just gonna stick to the outer corner of my eye. I think for deep set eyes, it creates a nicer shape. I don't like too much lashes going on in here um it doesn't feel very drying definitely fuller i feel like this is a lot fuller than the dior and the real magnetic i feel the real magnetic made them look longer and curled them up more and this is making them look fuller and fluffier so i'm taking it i like it so i definitely feel like it's on par with the dior and the benefit mascara so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative if you can find it um i think it's a great drugstore version and we're all about great drugstore versions of higher end product i am anyways i'm all about it so i think um yeah i really like it made my lashes look longer the only thing i noticed as i'm wiping it off my eye right now is that um while i was applying it i don't know if it's because the wand is more flexible it kind of was like flicking tiny bits of mascara and i think that's what happened like a tiny bit of mascara got flipped flicked up onto my brow here and it kind of was flicked down under my eyes so i just kind of brushed it away with a brush but beautiful alternative all right this is the final look i am absolutely in love with this foundation as of right now i'll come back later and do a little check-in after this outro but chef kisses to chef Steph she never leads me astray with makeup perfume whatever she is selling I am buying so I will link Steph's channel SMLXO I'm sure you guys already all follow it she's the OG of YouTube she was the first youtuber I followed her and Wayne Goss so I'll link her channel but I love this it does not feel like anything is on my skin and it is a fuller coverage I adore the bronzer I think it's gorgeous I think it'll be perfect for summertime I think you could probably even layer um, the tower 28 bronzer over it I'll just kind of dab a little bit on because it's got that same like iridescent vibe to it so if you just want to add some more glossiness to the skin pop that on gorgeous i yeah i'm vibing the mascara it's cool like i'll use it up it's a nice mascara uh and yes so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys are all doing well and i will see you guys again soon